answer, do you read me? Only answer if you're ready to be blown away. Never mind, I can't wait. I finished my dragon machine. I'm about to perform the final tests. So I'm kindly requesting the honor of your presence so you can be amazed and flabbergasted by my staggering genius. See you soon. Hi guys and gals and welcome to another video with yours truly, my name is Coops. Seems like it's been quite a long time since I last uploaded a video. Well that's probably because it has been quite a long time since I last uploaded a video. Um, work and everything does take over, life, you know, it's one of those things. And uh, just to be fair to Nix, I try not to record while he is around. So anyway, we're doing the wonderful Flashpoint. Yes, a new story has been released. Now I did record all this yesterday, but sadly some tosser forgot to record all the game sound. Yo. So I'm just going to be doing a commentary. I'm not actually going to be playing at all. Really? Yes, really. Okay, well. <laughs> So here we go, so we're into the first instance now, and the first thing we see is Lady Casimir. She kind of pops out of nowhere in this new fandangled costume outfit thing. Uh, you will notice that I am wearing an outfit myself. Um, I will just say, if you haven't played this episode yet, huge spoiler warning. Uh, you are going to find out who Lazarus is, so if you don't want to know, um, I would suggest you switch off now. Uh, because it is a big thing within this so um, just be warned for that one but if you have played it which I'm hoping you all have we'll just go and we'll uh, we'll talk through the episode and what's going on recapping from previously so basically Marjorie's gone off and she has um, well gone off with Lazarus and now we are coming back to timey she's finally made the machine to make her uh, to make the two elder dragons energies work against each other within the eternal alchemy whatever the hell that is I don't know but yeah so she's finally got that sorted and we're coming to um, to sort it out with her that's the big machine there you can see in the background um, and we just go into your first thing you do you come in and all these experiments all dragon minions are all over the place and you've got to kill them all off and you know, rah, 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 rah. Um, there are a few little secrets that you can do within this um, within this instance, most of which, like achievement wise, most of which you will get just by doing it, just outright just doing it. Um, you can charm Flunt when he turns up, Flunt the coconut. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can charm him by, you know, arguing the right things and whatnot, so um, I do actually do that in this video. Um, it was by chance. He then gives you access to some golems which help you later on. Um, but that's that. There is also the water, uh, the water coolant things uh, which is like an additional thing which I did have to go back and do. Um, I do again do that in this video so I will point that out to you as and when I actually get there. You know, so. so now we're talking to Tiny and she explains everything. So, um, machine make dragons go <laughs> I think I can handle a bit more detail. Great. First, that quarter-inch unit there is a thermogulator. Thermog coming from the Asura root word for... A little less. Ah, okay. It runs off the heart of OMAD's machine. That, combined with my spectrum research, aided by my assistant, Spencer, will let me manipulate the eternal alchemy to smash Primordis and Jormag's unique signatures together. Thus, cancelling them out, i.e. Dragons go back. Remarkable. Isn't it? For the experiment, I brought minions from the dragons to see if I can do it on a micro scale. You just met them. When do we get to see it in action? As soon as I can convince these other Asura to leave. I'm not exactly sure what'll happen when I kick it on. It'll likely work as intended, but could also blow this place sky high. Let's clear the area then. Well, there's a problem with that. Hello, progeny. And how are we ruining science today? You know, one of these days you'll admit how valuable I am. You'll see. Improbable. This thing is looking less and less like a coolerator and more and more like... like... a monstrosity destined to go down in the annals of failed inventions. Counselor Flan, I assure you, it will revolutionize elixir cooling technology. I mean, who wants tepid elixirs? So, if you'll kindly remove yourself and your flunkies assistance from my lab, 
To enable you to freely plunder all the research we leave behind? I think not. Uh, Commander, maybe you could reason with Punch, the esteemed, not esteemed, counselor here. Okay, so this is where you actually speak to him. So choose this, the options that I choose. I think it's heart, crown, crown. Oh no, crown. Crown, crown, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Wow, I really thought about this, didn't I? <laughs> yes, there you go. So then you can interact with the Golem control panel, which you can see just in front of me. And that will uh, those two golems next to a uh, next to the platform. They will come and help you within the fight, and that is pretty much it. Don't think there's an achievement attached to it, so it's just a, a little uh, little tidbit, as it were. Um, so that's it. So now Marjorie in walks Marjorie, and it's like, oh okay, well she's alive then. She's okay because last we saw her, she was walking off with Lazarus, and then we go and find out that Lazarus is not Lazarus. Which is now confirmed, Lazarus is not Lazarus, but who is Lazarus? Well, um, I'm sure there are a lot of prediction videos, of which none of them were watched by me. I did not watch any videos, and I did promise you guys um, way back when that I was going to give you you know, prediction videos and my review and everything. I didn't do that purely because I just didn't have a clue. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. I just thought... Who could Lazarus be? And I have many of my guild members saying, oh, perhaps it's such and such and this person or this person. I mean, they guessed that many different NPCs and different characters from the game. They had to have landed on a correct one. And of course, you get the, the guildy coming to you going, ah, you see, I told you it was such and such a person. And I'm like, yeah, but you also guessed 50 other people. So, I mean, you're bound to get one right. Although it did turn out that it was probably the most unlikely of, of them all. And I was, like, blown away when I found out who it was. And I was like, well, I did not in a million years see that one coming. It is a, a huge WTF moment. Like, dun, dun, dun! What the fuck? Oh! It's kind of, <laughs> kind of one of them moments. She's like, damn, son. I mean, I knew that. I mean, I'm going to let you watch the cinematic first before I go any further into it because, you know, there's so much to say about it. Um, I'm just uh, up there. That's one of the water coolants that I'm pointing at now. So, anyway, it's just like, whoa, incredible. So, it's, it's going to happen shortly within the video. So for now you've got to grab the mirrors and put them into place because Lazarus, as Marjorie's just said, Lazarus is holding on to some sort of enchanted mesmer mirror that's uh, keeping him disguised as Lazarus. So uh, what we're doing is we're moving the mirrors so that when he goes into the path of it, it will shatter the illusion and reveal who Lazarus is. He actually is. Um, as I say, I didn't watch any previous videos on it just because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Um, I wish I could show you the the footage of how how I actually reacted um, when when I found out who it was. It was literally jaw dropped, drool a little bit, a little bit drool at the time. Um, but I was just like. Damn, son! It was, it was, I was like, no way! Just didn't see it coming. So, um, you're probably all sitting there going, oh yeah, well, wooden potatoes and bog otter said this and that. I don't give a crap. You know, I don't, I don't generally watch uh, Guild Wars videos anyway. So that's, this is the password that you get for helping Flunt the coconuts. Um, <laughs> so you get his little um, fint or Flint 2.0 so yeah um, I don't watch their videos uh, because I didn't want any spoil I didn't want any preconceived ideas of who it could potentially be just because I didn't want there to be any like any less of a spoiler for when I did find out who it was like you find out who it is and you're like oh yeah well such and such guessed that yeah I can kind of, that's, that's pretty cool yeah that you know you don't get that big impact as you completely clueless and then 
there's the reveal. I kind of was expecting to go. Uh, sorry, who? Sorry, wh who's this? I. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was that NPC who was in that instance in the first, in the first like th few episodes of your personal story that kind of came in, said something, and walked out again, and was never seen again. That's kind of what I was expecting because. Um, you know, ArenaNet are kind of notorious for that, aren't they? They're, they're notorious for bringing characters back who, like, you met ages ago and then killing them. You know? It's like, and I'm supposed to give a shit why? You know, like like the whole Demi thing, you know, Demi Beetle turn. You don't see her. You see her in the Whispers story arc um, of, your, of your personal story. And then she comes along. And she dies, and you're supposed to care, but I really didn't. I was like, yeah. if Arena Note wanted a big impact, you know, sort of like the Erstagolkin death, you just like, oh, shit, no, you know, yeah, it floods of tears, and you're snotting everywhere. <laughs> you want that sort of impact, you've got to bring these characters back earlier. And to really like get them back into the story, even if not like a major role, get them back into the story, give them real meaning to the story, and help the player to sort of connect with that NPC. And then when you kill them off, it has this huge impact that you just like your your player base is like, no, and it's it's just one of those where you just like, oh damn. I can't believe that just happened, and you, you know, you start crying, you get all blubbery, and I mean, I do because I'm just such a, I'm just a pussy, you know. So, <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, now what's happening within the instance is that um, Lazarus has come along. He's gone in between the three mirrors, and oh my God, he's not happy, and he's attacking us, and he's brought all of his flunkies in. And we can go and release all the different experiments, which are friendly for some reason. Not quite sure why that's even happened, but yeah, you can release them, and they help you to fight. And you got to just kill off all of his, all of his flunkies, and uh, then your golem friends repair the mirrors. And once they're all repaired, you lure him back to the middle. Then he's weakened because right now he's invulnerable. So after he's weakened. You kick his ass, and then it's the big reveal. So it's it's kind of like the, at this point, um, yesterday when I was actually recording it, my heart was going ten to the dozen. I was like, "Oh my god, Lazarus is here! I'm fighting him!" Ah 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 ah! So scared, and it was it was so so goddamn exciting. I mean, this episode for me was just like the pinnacle. It was like one of the best episodes that I've actually played within this game. Just this single instance was so exciting. It, I really cared as well, you know? So this is the point now where the mirrors are like... Like my sound effects. <laughs> and now you can attack him. I did do a little whoopsie, not gonna lie, and I went and stood in his AOE thinking, yeah, I can survive this, and yeah. Um, but right now, I go for a little run up there because I just thought, oh shit, I better add that into the video. So I now go and get the sprinklers, which is, um, yeah, it's just a little uh, achievement that you can do. So to get up to them, you have to run all the way up to the top, all the way up. Um, and you have to glide. You see there's an updraft over there and over the other side. So there's two over one side and one over the other. Uh, the one over the other, you have to go all the way to the top and climb onto these rocks. Um, and then once you're on the rocks, you just simply glide over. The other two require you to glide uh, in the updrafts to get to them. Um, you won't see an achievement pop up on the screen because I've already done it. I went back and did all the achievements within the story instances. Um, I did find a little cheat for one of them, uh, which will require you to have at least one friend. So, because I didn't have any... Uh, you know, I just I just QQ'd in map chat until somebody felt sorry for me because you know I've got no friends. I'm, I'm a bit of a loner. So. Thanks for bringing that up, guys. You know, thank thank you for that. 
But anyway, <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, I shouted in guild chat. Um, I knew from the get-go, I was like, okay, this achievement can be cheated. And basically, you can have someone do it for you. So I will show you that um, when, we, when we get to that instance. That's going to be in a couple of days' time. I'm going to do a few more videos before then. You're going to get one a day. I probably should have told you this at the start, but there you go. That's just me a little bit backwards. Um, so, yeah, now you get to the point where you, you kill Lazarus. This is where I kind of stood in. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Now, fire. Lazarus is using lots of fire. So, that should be a clue as to who the hell he is. So, yeah, that's where I died. Um, and this is it. The big reveal. Mirror. Lissa's mirror. The illusion is broken. Now I can. <gasps> Balthazar! Pow! Balthazar? I mean, what? I was like. I mean, say what? Balthazar is on Tyria. I mean, all the gods, I mean, the, the gods for me, the, the whole lore behind the gods is just, oh my god. For me, my, my guild in Guild Wars 1 and following through to Guild Wars 2, the tag was gods. And um, in Guild Wars 1, the guild was called um, Exodus of the Elite Gods or something. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But yeah, it was all centred around the lore of the gods I just found it fascinating how you know they were there and then they sort of weren't and what, everything they did within Tyria and and it just led to kind of this moment we've all got powers because of the gods you know uh, they left because of the elder dragons and now in in the in the wake of the elder dragons Balthazar's returned and you're like what what the hell? Turns out he's after the power. I mean, why he couldn't have done that before? Maybe, I don't know, because we weren't here to give him the technology to do so. I don't know. But I always saw the gods as these these deities who were good. You know, they, they, they cared about us, you know. I guess it never really actually stipulated that the gods were caring about humans on Tyria. I mean, they... they Bought humans to Tyria, but that's the humans, you know, that's kind of why the humans see them as their deity, as their gods. But, you know, the six, I, I always imagined they'd be good guys. I did think that, you know, after, after Guild Wars 2 had sort of, you know, come to its conclusion, we've killed all the Elder Dragons, then moving into Guild Wars 3 would be all about the gods and we'd have to destroy the gods for some reason or another wasn't quite sure why and then you get this bombshell dropped on you and you're like oh mother hubbard that just throws a real spanner in the works that balthazar's back what's to say that another one isn't back could he actually be um another god could it be i don't know come here or lissa or well, you know Anyway, I don't know why I think of E as a female. I don't know why. You know, it's kind of that one of those um, you feel a pregnant woman's bump and you go, oh, it's definitely a boy. It definitely. It's kind of one of them. I just feel that E is a is a female. Go figure. I've got I've got nothing to back that up. <laughs> so, just take that on on the value of the face. So yeah, um, but I I kind of feel that maybe this is where. Um, this is where Arena and I are going to start delving. They're going to bring back the gods. Um, later on within this story, we do discover something that, to be fair, has been discussed at great length um, within just my guild, let alone the whole community of Guild Wars 2, that destroying the Elder Dragons is going to just absolutely destroy the ecosystem. You know, uh, because they are kind of crucial to the way that Tyria works. Coming, waking up, consuming magic, going back to sleep, and slowly releasing said magic. You know, 
it, it kind of sounds as if it's something to do with the ecosystem and turns out it pr pretty much 99% is true so it's like okay so if we destroy any more elder dragons we're pretty much just destroying the world so we're kind of in between a rock and a hard place uh, which the NPC, which your player character does actually say um, do we destroy the elder dragons which will in turn destroy Tyria or leave the elder dragons alive which in turn will probably destroy Tyria because well it won't destroy Tyria but it will destroy probably all of humanity as such because the dragons will want to just wipe us all out anyway so it's kind of like oh what do we do um, I honestly believe that you know I, I will discuss this in another video later I honestly do believe that we're going to try and go with the I'm pretty sure it was the Derman Priory's tactics on the whole El Dragons thing of putting them the hell back to sleep just go the fuck back to sleep and everything will be fine you know uh, keeping them asleep will be an issue um, but now Balthazar is back and he's after the the elder dragon's power himself which yeah it's kind of not a, it is a bad thing but it just depends what he's what he's trying to do with it but that's something that we can discuss in another video um so far i mean this as i say this instance for me was just like what no way i was so excited and just seeing it was both as i was like oh no I, I just didn't expect to ever see uh, one of the six, one of the gods. I was just like, dude, dude. So, yeah. But that is it from me for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I've come up with some, some pointless shit for you to take away with you. But for now, that is all. I love you all with affections unspeakable. Goodbye.